If you've got a Tesla, it's time for you to do a software update. The reason being that Tesla has upgraded the software for uh, probably one of the most important parts of your car. This is a big change. It's actually incredibly amazing to me. The changes that Tesla, and not just Tesla, but companies are able to make by simply tweaking software. Tweaking software has basically almost revolutionized Tesla car's ability to see, to see the road, to see the surroundings, and, and therefore for you two as well. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Tesla have just released a software update. It's actually on their uh, their own social media channels. So if you haven't already seen this, you might have already, but it's um, a big change to your Tesla. Now, existing Teslas that don't have hardware 4, that have hardware 3, they have a pretty low resolution cameras. They have a, a range of cameras on your car, but the resolution is not very high. Hardware 4, massive increase in resolution. They're about four times better than new cameras. Actually, sorry, three times better in terms of resolution. But Tesla has been able to use software in the car to drastically improve the camera vision. And they've been talking about this for a little while now. But basically what we're seeing now is a huge improvement just from software. Tesla owners have posted photos of camera quality difference of the recent uh, what basically what your cameras were able to see in the past versus what they can do now. And people are saying the difference is astounding. That It's basically gone from average to average to very, very good. Comparing the images side by side, you can see there's a significant reduction in blurriness. Colors don't look saturated with a red tint. They've been able to remove the tint. The biggest improvement that I've ever seen from Tesla cameras so just by being able to do this with software, is it's quite amazing. Tesla hasn't provided a full list of vehicles that will get this software update, but I'm going to guess that it's all Tesla Model 3s and all Tesla Model Ys. I don't know about Model S and Model X. We haven't heard about those yet. Now, Tesla vehicles fitted with Hardware 3 are getting the, obviously getting this upgrade because Hardware 4 and the cameras in those vehicles already is significantly better than the images yeah, you can see from your hardware three. The newer higher quality hardware four cameras receive a slight crop to the camera feed, not really much of a change to be honest. So will this change, this slight crop appear in hardware three? Not as far as we can tell, but I don't really think there's all that much to talk about there in terms of that change. So the changes to camera quality won't only improve your experience in terms of what you can see when you're looking at Tesla's cameras or, you know, when you're looking at your screen, but it's also going to improve the ability for Tesla cars for autopilot and FSD or full self-driving. Both of those two different things, by the way, there's a bit of confusion. Autopilot and full self-driving are two different things. Autopilot comes standard with every Tesla full self-driving. You've got to pay a lot of money to get that. So, you know, 90, 95% of Teslas don't have full self-driving. But this will improve autopilot as well. So your autopilot system should be able to work better. I'm going to guess that probably Tesla's next autopilot upgrade, which will probably come within the next few weeks, you know, a month or two, should have an improvement as a result of the car simply being able to see better. It'd be like you, you know, imagine driving around without without glasses on, and you realize you needed glasses because actually you didn't realize you couldn't see that well. You get some new glasses, all of a sudden you can see the road much better, therefore you can drive more safely. The latest changes to Tesla vehicles follow a new safety feature that automatically activates and flashes the hazard lights faster than usual after an airbag is deployed. And Tesla are rolling out to all US specification Model 3 and Y vehicles, apparently from 2018 onwards for all 3s and Ys. But the changes will come from what I'm seeing now, this update here, in Model S and Model X vehicles from 2020 onwards. Now, this safety feature is available now on Tesla's vehicles in Australia. You can get this upgrade now. And of course, you can get this in the US. I'm not too sure though yet about Europe. Tesla, of course, one of the really good things here, and I think it's fair to say, even if you don't like Tesla, you still have to admit the fact that that they that giving customers these new features or improving the performance of their cars many years after they've bought them 
is really a big part of owning a vehicle. Now, a lot of companies, a lot of people, a lot of people say, Tesla fanboys say their cars are luxury, Tesla vehicles are not luxury. But I've got to ask you a sincere question here, and I'm not saying Tesla vehicles necessarily define the word luxury or are luxury, but I've got to ask you, how many luxury car brands give you this experience? How many luxury car brands uh, four or five years after you bought it will provide you with significant improvements to your car at no cost? That's definitely you know, a really high level of service. And you've got to give them some kudos for this. They didn't have to do this and they did. The US car maker currently offers only the Model 3 and the Y in most countries outside of the United States. Now you can buy the S and the X in China and a few other countries, but most countries just have the 3 and the Y. And of course, those are the cars that this software upgrade is most relevant for. Now, guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. Do you agree other manufacturers, if they're going to charge you, say, $100,000 US plus for a car, do you think it's reasonable they should call their cars luxury if they give it to you and then do nothing? That's it. You've taken your car. We will no longer change anything on the car. Anything that's, you know, any improvements we have in the factory, they'll simply go on our new cars. You won't get any of those existing improvements. You're just stuck with what you've got. That, that's the entire automotive industry. That's the way they operate. I don't think that's the kind of kind of experience you would expect for a hundred thousand plus US dollar car. Now, not all automakers do that. There are some, you know, newer automakers that are starting to provide these software updates like Tesla. But I personally think, like I said, if you're paying a lot of money, and I'm talking a lot of money for a car, you should get this kind of experience as well. Anyway, let me know what you think on that. Thanks for watching.